Hello guys, welcome back to Jack in the Middle. Today we are visiting Top Drives and it's Man Down in Monaco. Let's go! Okay guys, so here we are back in Top Drives. All right, so just give me a quick second. Can't help it. Let me go ahead and pick up this free goal. I'll be right with you. Okay, that was it. There we go. All right, so um, I promised you guys a while back that I would take you through and show you what I am facing in, um, you know, with the Monaco campaign final boss stage. So I'll just show you, I'm going to show you guys my setup of, I have not beat the, um, the boss. I'm just going to show you my setup, how close I am to beating him, what kind of, what I'm facing right now, what I'm going through. All right. Um, all right. So, um, yeah, pretty much they, um, from what they're telling me, this Lotus right there, you just, we just put in, they're saying that we upgraded it the wrong way. They said that we're supposed to upgrade maximum grip and maximum. So I think grip is called chassis and then our, or, or actually I think is weight and chassis. And we will see, we'll check it in a second to, to make sure. But um, basically, so you have power, power, and then the last two, whether it's chassis or weight or whatever the last two are. They're saying upgrade to the maximum because I guess you only get 24 of 28 or so upgrades. So they're saying upgrade the last two, which would be the weight and the chassis, and that will help you um, be able to beat, you know, the final boss. So, um, you know, hopefully that works. I've heard that it doesn't, but hopefully it works for you. So if you're new, you're new to top drives and you were able to watch this before you um, got this car here and upgrade it, yeah, then, um, you know, good luck to you. Now, the only other thing is um, they have done an update. So the cars are a little bit harder to upgrade now. Now that, um, that Lotus used to be a C-class car, which right now I'm just scrolling to the garage and showing you what um what my lineup currently looks like and but now it's a b class car which means it's a little bit harder to get fuse material to um to upgrade these cars now and um so you know good luck with it and and whatnot i am also using the in the fort slot a Datsun rally car that i got um a rally race car that i got from the campaign also so you'll be able to pick that up and the vox hall i believe i also got it from the campaign so you'll be able to pick that up and i'll show you those two i'll show you exactly how i upgraded those at the end of the video also um you know just if you're interested and you wanted to copy what i did all right so here we are we're gonna go in i kind of lined them up exactly the way they need to be to match up first to first you know second to second third to third and we're just gonna run run them through um so this is where i'm at um i'm stuck i am able to do the race and end up so i am missing like 17 points so on this first race here if we're able to get a faster car maybe that will um, get us there, that we'll lose a little uh, more gracefully, <laughs> if we put it that way, you know, or um, able to get a faster car that we could beat this car or some of the other cars, you know, better, you know, th then we would, we would be doing all right. So basically, all right, so let me keep it straight. If, we, if we're able to get a faster car to win the first race, to lose the first race more gracefully, meaning less points, that will put us in a good position this race here like we're saying with the setup there's some people are saying that if you if you set it up the other way you'll be able to beat them so you're going to lose by 50 points or if we're able to beat this race here that would put us in a very good position to um to you know to win the race a very funny thing is going to happen here so we're going to beat this guy but if notice when we cross the finish line it says it gave gives me 100 points straight away. Instead of giving us the usual 50 points and then counting up, it just gave me 100 points straight away, which is usually what I get anyways. But um, I just thought that was kind of funny. And then um, this one here, we were able to pull him, up, pull him off by 50 points. So this one also, if we're able to get a fast enough car, which I doubt we're going to find a car fast enough to beat this guy by to give us some um, like 67 points um to, to for us to and i think if we if we draw the match in um in in event we probably will you know um 
they probably would give us the benefit of the doubt and give us the win. Anyway, so here we are going to, I'm going to go in and show you my setup on the Datsun rally car. All right, so it's 24 out of 24. I, up, I upgraded, and here, here we get to find out right now. We up, I upgraded engine, weight, and chassis. So I upgraded engine all the way, chassis all the way. Weight, guys, if you don't, I, you don't need to waste fuse material if you're not going to use one of the things. So I could have left that basically at 2.3, basically what I'm saying. If you, if you guys are familiar with the game, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, so the same thing happened here. I, I guess I, I made the same mistake. I, I wasn't sure which way I was going to go with the fuse. So probably that's what happened. You don't have to waste to do an extra fuse because it, it doesn't add add anything to, to, to do the extra fuse. You could have left it at 3.3, 2.4, 2.3, and then 3.3. All right. So I'm going to kind of leave you guys here pretty much. I'm out. If you guys like what you saw, please go ahead and leave a subscribe. Go ahead and leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This was your man, Jack, in the middle, and I'm out. Bye-bye.